My name is Scott Jenkins, and I'm the Director of External Relations for Western Governors University. Uh, it's an honor to be here to talk to you a little bit more about our model, um, how we operate. Uh, Western Governors University was founded in uh, 1997 by 19 governors, and actually in including Governor Kitzhaber was a, was a, was a founding governor. And uh, the 19 states, and so Oregon is a, is a founding and, and charter member of Western Governors University. Uh, we were founded by governors. We were supported by 20 major corporations. And the goal of Western Governors was to use technology uh, to improve the quality and accessibility of, of post-secondary education for adult learners. Uh, we're supported extensively by both the, the private corporate side and by foundations, including the Lumina Foundation, Gates Foundation, Hewlett Packard, and others. Uh, who are we? We're, a, we're fundamentally a private, nonprofit university. We have 28,000 students nationally. We are authorized to operate in every single state in the country, and we have students in every state in the country. Uh, we have 12,000 graduates. 3,500 of those graduates uh, we had in, in 2011. So uh, a significant fraction of our graduates uh, happened in the last year. We are at an inflection point with the university uh, where our even though we're growing at 30% annually, we, uh, we are now, uh, our percentage growth in graduates is exceeding our percentage growth in, in students. We're online, we believe we're affordable, and we're accredited um, regionally and, and specifically by program. Uh, as I said, we're technology-based, we're competency-based, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, but basically what that means is that we're tied, we tie our degree programs to employer needs, we focus on, on competency, in the way of mastery of content for, for students as they move through their course of study. Uh, another <coughs> fundamental model that we focus on is personal mentoring. And the program is an accelerated program because students can move through the curriculum as quickly as they pass the competencies. So competency-based education as we define it is we work by, we have uh, four different um, national councils made up of industry, academic, and professional experts who, who map out what a student needs to know and be able to do in order to be successful in that field. Um, the, the, they then set competencies throughout the course of study that a student needs to show mastery in. Um, and, and as the students move through, they, they do that through, through assessments and through, through, other, through uh, demonstrated assessments and other things. Um, we don't have grades at our institution and we don't have uh, or seat time requirements. We uh, kind of flip traditional higher education on its head uh, in that we hold learning constant and time is variable. And what I mean by that is, is you don't actually have to sit in a course for, for 13 weeks, um, take three assessments as a professor would, would provide to you, and then move on. If you know the content and can prove your competencies, then you can move forward um, throughout the course of study. Um, per personal mentoring, whenever, whenever a student enters Western Governors University, they're assigned a, uh, what we call a, a, a student mentor. Now, a student mentor has a master's degree in the discipline that the student is studying, and they are full-time Western Governors faculty. We consider them faculty. They're not counselors. Uh, the mentor stays with the student through their entire course of study, and every week the mentor checks in with the student uh, to make sure that they're on track, to look at their assessments that they're taking, to make sure they don't have any questions, and to, to basically serve as a, as a mentor through their, through their, through their learning. Um, and with that, that mentor, the student builds a trajectory towards graduation. What we know about adults and adult <coughs> learners is that they learn different things, uh, different subjects at a different pace. Um, in fact, uh, all of us, operate that same way if you'll think back to your time in college. Um, with our institution, all of our graduates have demonstrated that mastery of their competencies. Because it's accelerated in the way it operates, our students um, on average graduate in 30 months as opposed to 60 months in a traditional institution, a traditional brick and mortar institution. Um, it's online, uh, you, can go to, you can go to class anytime, uh, it's term based. And what I mean by that is, is we, don't, we don't have traditional semesters as, as a traditional institution would, would, would have. We, if you wanted to enroll in w, WGU right now, you would start at the beginning of next month. And then you would pay a, a term-based fee of $3,000 for six <coughs> months of, of learning. And 
because we do because it's term based like that in six months all of our students are full time we do not have part time students at our institution um, our assessments are as as Amy uh, the previous speaker discussed um, we do have we do follow a lot of the a lot of the similarities of that program um, our assessments are objective um, performance based projects and portfolios capstone projects for our master's degrees and then we do online proctoring technology that allows a student instead of having to go to a, 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 a testing center that they actually can do it from home and 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 um, it's a pretty it's a, a, a pretty slick operation to, to ensure that students aren't cheating on their tests um, 50 bachelor's and master's degrees in, in key high need workforce areas. We do business, information technology, teacher education, and health professions. Um, in teacher preparation, which is our largest college of education, our college of education is our largest, we produce as a single institution more STEM discipline teachers in, at our institution than any other single institution in the country. Uh, the, part of the reason for this is that we have a lot of mid-career professionals for example, a chemist at, the, at, at, a, at a pharmaceutical company may decide that they want to go and be a chemistry teacher. Uh, with our institution, they can show their, their subject matter expertise rather, rather quickly. They can go through their methods courses uh, and, and show their competency in that. They go through their clinical teaching through a, through a, uh, a local partnership with a school district, uh, and they can be in the classroom relatively quickly. Quick so question. a lot of mid-career Quick question. Yes. Yeah. Scott, I have a, a quick question. That, that teacher education program, is you have a relationship with the National Education Association, don't you, with that? Correct. We, 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 we have a, a national partnership with the NEA that allows NEA members to, we waive their application fee, and uh, they get a 5% discount if they're an NEA member. Most of those, uh, the vast majority of those members <coughs> would, would go through as a, uh, as a master's degree program, or, or if they're getting a, a, a they want to get a certain type of endorsement on their, on their, okay. on their certification. Um, I'll wrap up really quickly so we can get to some, some Q&A. Uh, our regional accreditation is the same regional accreditation that your, uh, your, your large nonprofit and state institutions have in Oregon. Um, we, have a, our, we are the only online, um, exclusively online teacher education program that's NK accredited and uh, our College of Health, Health Professions um, with healthcare, including pre-licensure nursing is, is, uh, is CCNE accredited. Um, our current student population, uh, we, w our student population is typical adult learners. Um, average age is 36, 70 percent of them work full time, and 75 percent come from an underserved population, rural, minority, low income. 79 percent of our undergraduate students receive some form of federal, federal financial aid. Uh, the tuition uh, uh, at our institution is a, is a flat rate tuition, $3,000 per term. The, the, the thing about WGU is that when you pay your, your tuition, it's, it, your, your six months is basically, uh, lack of a better term, it's an all-you-can-learn all buffet. Mm -hmm. You can move through as fast as you want to through the, through the curriculum. Um, our partnerships with states that we've engaged in, uh, they have included us as part of their state um, strategic planning around higher education. If they have a, a degree production goal overall for the state, they include WGU in that. Uh, within you know, Oregon, we have about 450 students um, that, that are enrolled right now. We continue to expand that every month. 